<clears throat> call the committee of the whole to order. Call the roll. Trustee Fenton. Here. Trustee Dodge. Trustee Calandrello. Here. Trustee Healy. Here. Trustee Katsinas. Here. Trustee Milani. Here. Mayor Pico. Here. Approval of December 16, 2019, Committee to Home Minutes. So moved. Second. Any questions? Call the roll. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Katsinas? Aye. Trustee Calandrello? Aye. Trustee Healy? Aye. Trustee Milani? Aye. Mayor Pico? Aye. Intergovernmental agreement with Will County's emergency telephone system. I'll entertain a motion to recommend the Village Board to approve the intergovernmental agreement between the Will County Emergency Telephone System and the Village of Orland Park in the development of common definitions, database designs, and metadata standards to facilitate mutual sharing of data sets and review their GIS programs and to authorize the Village Manager to execute the agreement upon approval of the Board. So moved. Second. Are there any questions on this? Call the roll. Trustee Milani? Aye. Trustee Healy? Aye. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Calandrello? Aye. Trustee Katsinas? Aye. Mayor Pico? Aye. Motion carries. 151st Street, Phase 3 Engineering Services. Okay. I will entertain a motion to recommend to the village board to approve the proposal from Baxter and Woodman LTD for the 151st Street improvements, phase three construction engineering services in an amount not to exceed $396,000, $396,928 and uh, move to recommend the village board to approve $30,000 as a line item in Baxter and Woodman's contract as contingency funds, which shall only be used by prior authorization from the village manager and I move to authorize the village manager to execute the agreement with Baxter and Woodman LTD pending the village attorney review in a total not to exceed the amount of $426,928. So moved. Second. Are there any questions or comments on this? So uh, George, I do have a couple of questions on this. Um, so regarding, you know, so I looked at this and I know we talked about it a little bit today and I know we chose the person with the, or the company with the lowest average hourly rate but not the lowest total amount of professional fees. I saw what the evaluation criteria, criteria was um, and what I didn't see was the, the evaluation criteria, how we got to the four that we interviewed and then what the final results of those evaluation criteria were just seeing the, um, we're just seeing the uh, final recommendation. So um, could you talk to me a little bit about that? And I think in the future we need to see how we got to who we interview as well as how we chose who we got using that evaluation criteria. Sure. So just from the overall standpoint of the contract, if you, um, uh, the, the recommended um, lowest responsive, responsible proposer is the one that has the um, lowest average hourly rate. And that's uh, that. The number of hours is based on an actual, um, our our um, historical uh, for something like this in this project. And maybe, Prashid, you can talk about uh, the number of hours. <clears throat> so staff looked at um, the number of hours that would require for a project like this, uh, based on our experience. But we also looked at the recently completed project uh, for our 147 and Ravinia Avenue roundabout, which had roadway work as well as roundabout, some utility work and uh, landscaping work. Based on that, we came up with the conclusion that we need about 3,200 hours to complete a project like this on 151st Avenue. And then we compared that, how that compares to the consultants that submitted their hours. And um, so the hours that were in the 3,100 to 3,300 hours, that's what we looked at that was more comparable to what the project would require. Well, okay, that's great, except that Christopher Burke only had 2,200 hours and they were included in the interview. So it makes sense for the other interviews, but not for that one. So um, I guess that's where I would. Uh... So the, the, uh, the three members of the committee, we looked at the the their fees of course but we also the the other items we looked at is the project manager resident engineers experience of similar projects their experience with working with IDOT where federal funding was available 
and then uh, how they have helped the, in their past with other, other municipalities in working with change orders that sometimes generated in these projects and how did they handle those. Those were our criteria that we used to come up with the short list of uh, the project that, or short list of the firms that were shortlisted. One of the reasons for Christopher Burke was that Christopher Burke did phase one and phase two engineering on this project, so they had a very long history on the project that was, that went in their favor of their project manager and the firms um, being shortlisted for the, for the interviews. So I guess what I would want to see before I make a recommend, before I vote on a recommendation, is I'd like to see how they stacked up on the evaluation criteria, which are laid out here, to choose the interviews, and then also what, how they stack up after the interviews based on that, based on that criteria and how that, that was selected. Um, and then at the, at the board meeting, we could approve it. My, my recommendation to the board, if they would be okay with that, is to forward this without recommendation um, until we see those evaluation criteria. I have no issues with Baxter and Woodman being chosen. chosen. I, I trust that you've made you know, solid decisions here, but I do think since we have a criteria here, we should see that. It's not a problem. We can. We can sure. So you, we. So would there would be a forwarding, and, and as part of the board of trustees agenda, we would include the the criteria listing. Is there? Correct, and it wouldn't okay. be on the consent agenda. Got it. Is there anyone here that has an issue with that? No. Mm -mm. Um, so. Uh, What's that? Yeah. So I would. Uh, um, I'll entertain a motion. Uh, I'll, I'll entertain an amendment to the motion to um, move this forward to the Village Board of Trustees without a recommendation pending the evaluation criteria being included uh, in our notes. So moved. Second. Um, call the roll on. The, are there any comments on the amendment? Call the roll on the amendment. Trustee Fenton. Aye. Trustee Healy. Aye. Trustee Calandrello? Aye. Trustee Katsinas? Aye. Trustee Milani? Aye. Mayor Pico? Aye. And uh, now, um, are there any comments on the amended motion? Any other comments or questions? Could you please call the roll on the amended motion? Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Healy? Aye. Trustee Calandrello? Aye. Trustee Katsinas? Aye. Trustee Milani? Aye. Mayor Pico? Aye. Motion carries. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any uh, non scheduled citizens that wish to speak at the Committee of the Whole? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. We're adjourned.